this is Rebecca from Tech Central inside the Hart Memorial Library of the Osceola Library System, and welcome to Tech Tips from Tech Central. Here in Tech Central, you'll find several Brother CS6000i computerized sewing machines. Uh, they have some features that are similar to all sewing machines, but there are some features that are different. So we're just gonna go over this machine really quickly as an introduction for when you come visit Tech Central. For those of you at home with your own sewing machine, the first thing that you should always do is check your operation manual. This will have how to thread your machine as well as uh, troubleshooting guides and press your foot differences. Okay, so on this model, you'll find the bobbin winder up here, the spool pin, an upper tension control dial, the thread guide, which keeps your thread nicely secure, as well as when you are threading the machine and using a bobbin, threading a bobbin. This is the thread take up lever, which is controlled by the needle uh, hand wheel on the side here and on the bottom is where you'll find the accessory compartment which has extra bobbins, extra needles, and extra presser foots as well as any uh, maybe cleaning materials. Once again consult your own operation manual for what comes with your sewing machine and how to use it. Around the needle you'll find the buttonhole lever at the back here for when you're doing a buttonhole stitch the needle threader, which threads your needle for you, which is very nice. The presser foot level, which raises and lowers your presser foot. This being the presser foot, and this being the presser foot holder. Feed dogs on the bottom here will help feed your fabric in the sewing direction. And there's also a needle plate with guides for sewing straight seams and seam allowance ruler. In front, you'll find the bobbin cover, which is one of the main differences between this model and maybe some other models. You may be more familiar with seeing the bobbin panel underneath with um, behind the accessory compartment uh, with have the lower thread having to be pulled up by the needle. This one doesn't have that. It's a, called a quick set bobbin and it's very cool. On this computerized model, the front panel has a reverse stitch button a start stop button, and a needle up, needle down button. You'll also find the LCD display with the selection for stitches that you just use these buttons to change. The selection being on the side here and you just enter in the number that you want. Here you have the stitch length with the buttons to change that and the stitch width also with the buttons to change it. On the side is where you'll find that hand wheel to lower and raise the needle and the thread lever, the power button, of course, and the foot controller jack to attach the foot controller. And that's it for the Brother CS6000i computerized sewing machine that you can find here in Tech Central.